Hey guys, RC here, and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. This is uh, Sanctuary, and uh, again, I, I haven't been playing for very long, and, you know, this was about the extent of my building uh, ability. Uh, I did build the treehouse uh, as a large dormitory and security structure. This is uh, my power armor. Originally, it was meant to be like an indoor flea market, which I kind of like the idea. I just haven't figured out how to do it and get my shops in there. So I may tear this down and redo it or attempt to redo it at some point. Uh, but I, I have taken uh, one of the guys that I watch a lot. His name is Davey. He goes by the tag uh, No Respawns. He's got a Twitter account. Uh, YouTube account. I watch a lot of his videos and the format for these structures I got from him and then I took that and I built this based off of the same design but gave it a bed for the uh, for the clerk and one of the things that I wanted to do is instead of having you know just the houses where I've got you know, five, six, seven beds clambered, you know, stuck inside. I wanted to kind of get something else where it was more individual room type structures. So this is something I've been working on today. Uh, I've got my uh, lights and I had done a video on this bottom structure that I had built. So let's go take a look at that. This is uh, just a little one by two on some platforms. And, you know, you've got your bedroom, a few supplies, a little storage area, seating area. So, you know, a little painting, some lights. Uh, so, you know, you've, you've got a, a bedroom here uh, for, for a person. And then I said, well, what can I do to make better use of this space rather than just that one structure? So I built some scaffolding to give me access to a second level. And I've built two more structures. So basically, this one is supported on the roof of the house next door. And then this one is with boxcars. Now, you notice that those are uneven. When this clips onto the end, it snaps onto the edge. And I had to uh, rug glitch this one into place. And I used this. And I figured they kind of welded that in place. It does have some gaps at the top. But, uh, you know, I would think nothing is always perfect in the wasteland. So we do have, oh, I think I need to put a step there. Yep, let's put a step there. Real quick while I'm thinking about it. See if it'll work or if I have to rug glitch that. It, yeah, there we go. All right, so that gets us into the house. So again, they've got a little bed, a TV, nightstand with a light. Uh, you've got uh, a Kim's box down there, a foot locker, duffel bag, a couple of chairs where they could have a conversation. You know, so just a, you know, a simple little house. And then you come around here, we've got the fencing. We do have a gap here. I couldn't get anything in there. I could probably glitch something in there, but eh, I figure if they're stupid enough to fall there, they probably deserve to die. Uh, so this is going to be like a little workman shop. We've got some more storage outside, tool, tools, a little security camera up here. How the hell did she get up there? Because there's no stairs up there. Okay, well, knock yourself out, lady. Uh, so again, just very simple. We've got a little bit of lights, uh, broken ceiling fan. We've got a bed, a radio. TV, couch, little place they can relax. So again, just a simple little, you know, one bedroom design. So we've taken this little middle lot between these two houses and we've turned it into three dwellings. And unfortunately, the build area stops right about here. So I could not extend this out anymore. That was as far as I could go. And I guess because from here it actually angles out to catch a little bit of this backyard uh, for the root cellar here. But there's a spawn point out here, I think. 
So anyway, ooh, that looks bad. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, you can see that's kind of where it stops. Uh, let's see. Oops. See what I can do with this here. And I'm thinking that's because that's where Yeah, I don't like that clipping right there. All right, well, if we clip that, let me go around the side and see where that goes. So that stops there. Hmm. Well, I like the way the houses came out. I'm just not sure... where uh, let's see if I can get over here there we go um that looks good. I like that. Yeah, what it is, is it's the... Uh, it is the... bush there that's keeping that from getting in. So we're going to have to try to do the rug glitch. Probably have to do a few of these. All right, if we come in from this angle... All right, and then that comes down. Can we see that in there? Doesn't look like we can see that. Let's come around the other side. Yeah, that actually gets hidden pretty well in the shrub. So we could say that goes all the way to the bottom, but we could always rug glitch a bottom piece in there. But that does look like it goes right down through with the shrub growing around it to give us some support there. And probably going to need to do the same on this side as well at least with that one corner so let's see if we can knock that out real quick and that's on the house Right, let's try to get right there. Right there. Yeah, that works good. All right, so that gives us support. The corner's hanging, but it's functional that that would be the support right there across the bottom. All right, so I think we fixed our engineering issues right there. So again, I was trying to think of a way to f take this little space between the houses and do something with it. 
I wish there was a way that we could do something a little better with the scaffolding, but you know, this is, you know, we have to have a way to get up there and it's got to make sense. So I had to come across, I had to come across the doorway. Maybe what I could have done is put the door back here, had the scaffolding at the front and then had it come out right here and then it would have been a space back and so this would have ended up somewhere on the sidewalk in all likelihood at least here we can still walk underneath it um, for the most part not too much in the way of decoration uh, I did put a Minuteman flag for the settlement a little notice sign uh, three new places here so one of them's up for rent um, and I think I'm going to try to do that a little bit more, maybe come up and build on top of the garages. That'll be like one and then maybe come out with an elevated uh, area on the side here. So you could have like a little extend the coverage all the way out to here and maybe have two bedrooms up at the top there um, and do that, you know, on these flat locations. Anyway, that is uh, my latest attempt at trying to do something creative. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, uh, sometimes I have good ideas, but you know, sometimes artistic creativity is not one of them. But uh, I think this takes a couple of uh, you know things in the game, and it does lend itself to uh, adding something to the game to the settlement that we did not have before. Uh, so hope you liked it. Uh, again, I don't think it's anything fancy. Uh, never claimed to be the greatest uh, designer or implementer, but uh, just wanted to show something that I had come up with today uh, for my settlement. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.